call this meeting, uh, this uh, special called meeting uh, to order. Welcome to the Historic Preservation <coughs> Review Board. Uh, this is a citizen board appointed by the town council to interpret and uphold the historic preservation ordinance that protects the historic district of Abingdon, which has been designated as the old and historic district. <clears throat> Our aim on this board is to provide a positive bridge between the property owners of the district and the design review process. So we welcome you to today's meeting. We appreciate your interest and we encourage public participation in our meeting. Your comments are important to our decision-making process. So when you come forward, if you would just give us your name and address, that would be helpful. Um, when we get to your project, there'll be a brief summary by the staff before you'll need to come forward and speak. So uh, roll call. Mr. Boyd? Here. Mr. Anderson? <coughs> Mrs. Hartshorn? Here. Mrs. White? Here. And Mr. Giesler? Here. Okay, Certificate of Appropriateness, uh, Derek Webb, 147 Valley Street, Northeast. <coughs> yeah, so Derek H. Webb, applicant slash owner, has requested approval of a, of a Certificate of Appropriateness for a two-story frame addition located at the rear of the existing structure. Uh, the property is located on 147 Valley Street, Northeast, and it's in Subdistrict 2 of the OH. Uh, some background, according to Places and Time, Volume 2, ran by Nancy C. King, the building was built in 1909 and is known as the Judge Reuben M. Page House. Um, we're here today to see that addition, but you've also approved a multitude of other uh, repairs and replacements for this house, so we'll just kind of, those are in your package right here, just reviewing what you've seen before and reviewed and approved. Now for staff findings, um, the applicant is proposing a two-story frame addition onto the rear of the existing brick structure laid in a running bond pattern. Foundation for the two-story rear addition will consist of 8-inch exposed CMU. Sheathing for the frame structure will consist of LP smart side 6-inch lap siding painted white. All trim architectural features will be painted white to match existing. A plain 5.5-inch wide frieze will run along the addition's fa uh, fascia, matching the back or north elevation of the existing structure, and a standing seam metal roof pre-finished black with K-style gutters with round downspouts will match existing as well. In total, there will be nine, over, nine one over one single hung sash windows and a modern door associated with the rear addition. Uh, based on the last discussion with the applicant, the proposed windows will be vinyl, uh, but then also, after I've recently talked to uh, Mr. Webb, they're going to be wood clad with vinyl. Uh, the configuration of the windows and the door are, are as such. On the west elevation, three narrow one over one single hung sash windows will be centered on the first floor level, and a one over one single hung sash window will be centered on the second floor level directly above the first floor uh, level windows. The west elevation is the only visible elevation of this addition seen from a public right of way. Uh, the east elevation, a modern door centered on the first uh, floor level landing out into the backyard, a one over one single hung sash window centered on the second floor level directly above the modern door, a landing will be located directly outside the modern door. Staff has concluded based on site visits, the east elevation cannot be seen from any public right of way. Uh, the north elevation, two one over one single hung sash windows will be evenly spaced on the first floor level and two one over one, over one single hung sash windows will be evenly spaced on the second floor directly above the windows located on the first floor level. And once again, staff has concluded that this will not be seen from any, any public right away. Uh, there is an existing one story frame enclosed porch slash sunroom located at, at the proposed location of the two story frame addition, wooden panels painted white, and a reddish tinted metal low slope roof make up the envelope of the one story structure. Three pane by three pane uh, casement windows create a central horizontal band running along the east, north, and west facing elevations of the framed enclosure. Centered on the north facing elevation, wooden and screen door painted white. Uh, it's of staff's opinion that this enclosure is not original to the structure and it's actually covering one of the original windows of the house. <laughs> Uh, architectural features matching the existing structure include the pre-finished black standing sea metal roof, the K-style gutters with uh, should be round downspouts, my apologies, all trim architectural features painted white and a plain five and a half inch wide frieze running along the addition's fascia matching the back or north elevation of the existing structure. LP smart side six inch lap siding painted white is an appropriate material and a type 
uh, design seen throughout the old and historic district where a wooden clabbered addition is attached to the, to the rear of an existing brick structure. However, the addition will require the removal of the three uh, wooden windows located on the north elevation. Two of the three windows uh, to be removed are double hung sash. The top sash is uh, three, hung, three over two and the bottom sash is one singular square pane. This type of window configuration matches what is seen throughout the exterior of the existing structure. The third window located on the second floor level is a smaller window with a screen attached. Uh, the addition's proposed roof would connect into the existing roof line, altering the roof line slightly. Overall, the proposed window openings will line up and match with the existing window openings as seen on uh, February 7th, 2023. The existing window openings will be converted to transitional points between the existing structure and proposed rear addition. Uh, the foundation for the two-story rear addition will consist of uh, eight-inch exposed CMU. According to the design review guidelines, uh, exposed CMU is not appropriate, but should be finished with either stucco or some other type of finish, uh, providing a textured surface. And uh, additionally, wood co construction is preferred for windows. The usual of the use of vinyl clad or aluminum clad windows is acceptable so long as their dimensions are compatible with historic window openings. And that's all I have. If you have any questions for me, I can clarify. If not, okay. Come forward. Sure. Is there anything you'd like to add or elaborate? Yeah, we're, um, we're trying to keep it as consistent with the style of house as we can. Um, I think Bundy did a good job uh, sort of crafting this addition. Uh, we're open to suggestions on any or all parts of, of the proposed structure. Uh, we're not married to any one particular material and or um, you know, texture, if that makes sense. We had originally, I think the one thing that we had originally decided to do is the eight inch exposed uh, CMU. Uh, we were gonna brick it, uh, but it, I don't think it's gonna be very visible and we would prefer to, to kind of cover it up with landscaping if you all feel like that's appropriate. Um, and you know, I don't have a problem with painting it or texturing it or whatever the, the case may be, if whatever the, the board feels like is appropriate. If, if what, when when it says in here appropriate, Finishes, what else are you? It could be paint, anything like that, mm -hmm. just to make sure, just to give it a look that's not just CMU. Not just yeah. yeah, so. And, and like I said, we're open to, we weren't married to any one particular concept there. We just you know, felt like it, uh, the brick wouldn't be exposed. And, and in fact, the brick that we are um, tearing off the back of the house, we want to repurpose into a fireplace or a fire structure in the backyard of some sort that will be um, in the future, of course. <coughs> But yeah, like I said, we're open to suggestions or, or comments or uh, you know, just whatever the, the board feels necessary. Okay, there are other questions or comments? Um, I'm just trying to, to see, it, is the footprint <laughs> the same um, as no, the, the it, piece that's been torn off? Yeah, it's, it's, it's larger than the piece that was torn off. And, and that's one of the reasons Gabe and I sort of collaborated to bring it back to the board um, because before you really can't see the, the white piece on the back um, and, and you will potentially be able to see, um, which corner is it? The, oh, the west. The west The, west, the west facade. Um, I don't know how much of it, um, but uh, we, we want to make it, uh, you know, a structure that's pleasing to the, to the HPRB and the design guidelines. So, so the... Is the addition aligning with the with the wing that pops out that's remaining? <coughs> well, on the, this uh, photo that Gabe's provided with the red border around, um, showing the I guess the piece that comes off. Uh -huh. Then there's a two-story existing piece that projects out from the furthest further than the rest of the house. I'm just asking, I guess, if that, if the addition is matching that width or um, is it less than, it's not, a, it's not really an issue. See, the, yeah. the, red, the red box on our photograph doesn't exactly line up. Oh, with. oh, I got you. No, it's, it's, not, it's narrower than that. It doesn't. Um, Do you have the dimensions? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, for the. So, so Gabe just went and measured you, it. It's pretty much directly in between these two windows. And then, of course, it's got about a foot on this yeah. side as well. 
So it's a foot in? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not, doesn't extend out past oh, the no, end? Okay. No, 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 it just no. looks and, that and way. And we're the... trying to hide it as much as we can. Um, and I don't think you'll be able to see this side at all. It's this one that I think if if you're inclined to do so and, and not paying attention to driving, you may be able to see, <laughs> see that part right there, this side. Yeah. So. Well, and it's good that you're insetting it because when you try to align two different right. materials. No, it, it would not work. No, we're not, we're not trying to do that. Then I have, the only other question I have is, on the the uh, Bundy drawings, mm -hmm. what? The, the, well, they call it the front, but it's the north elevation. Mm -hmm. What's that long white band on the second floor? Aren't there windows there existing? You see what? They're at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's, well. that's not, that's, that's nothing. There's not, there's brick and windows. He's just not filled in the detail. Just okay. Just the detail, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's also, I think it's good that you've picked um, that the, the, the cladding for it is frankly different. Yeah. So, so it's going to be a frankly different yeah. addition. We yeah. talked about doing brick, uh -huh. and to be completely honest with you, the architect said you're never going to be able to match yes. that brick. The brick on the house is so unique and it's so compact um, that the mortar lines are super, super tiny. Um, and even Rick Statzer, when he came out to, to inspect it once, he said, you know, there's only a few houses that have mortar lines that are that tiny. Um, we just didn't feel like we could, we could do it in, in a way that was meaningful. Um, and so the house has, um, on the sides existing, it has those big kind of white windows that stick out on both sides of the house. And we felt like the white would really complement that mm -hmm. more. Um, so. Yeah. And thank you, Betsy. Yeah, that's a nice, it's a nice choice because it, it doesn't try to, try to be what it isn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. So, so the guttering is going to be the case style, but that's what's on the existing house now. Yes, okay. yes, it's case style, but it, I did, you know, I will do round down spouts, of course, to match those. And um, I noticed the windows initially were going to be all vinyl, but now they're. Are... Yeah, we, you know, honestly, that was kind of an error on my part. I'm, I'm again, we're not married to any specific material. So when Gabe and I started discussing the details, he said, "You do realize they prefer wood that's clad in, in vinyl or aluminum or whatever." And I said, I, "That's fine. We're okay. we're not opposed to that anymore." And in fact, I did want to ask you all, I know um, the existing windows are, are a very distinct sort of window and they don't have, um, I guess, and I don't know the, the architectural term for it, they don't have the lines at the top pane, you know, the window. They're not divided. Um, Mountains. There you go. So if we have those on these new windows, I'm assuming that you want them to be on the exterior like the original windows, is that? You mean the true, the true divided? Yes. Well. No, the true divided lights are separate panes of, of glass. Is that mm -hmm. what you mean? No. Yeah, no. I just want to make sure we pick the right. He doesn't this mean is that. What I'm getting at. I don't think he does. Do you? No. Yeah, you I, don't I, mean I want that. to pick a window that's as complementary to what's in the house as we can, and I just want to make sure you know some of the windows have the the, the, the divisions on the inside of the glass, and obviously we don't want to do that. We want to do it on the outside to match what's there. Does that make sense? So I I think and jump in if I get this wrong, but so. True divided windows with, you know, a separate pane for each little one. That would be wonderful, okay. but that's going to be expensive. Okay. That's okay. a separate pane for each. That's gotcha. a separate that's piece of glass. What, that's okay. what you have okay. in the original yeah. building. Okay. We do allow the 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 simulated simulated, mm -hmm. but it needs to be on the outside. Okay, that's, that's what I was asking. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure we do the right type of window. Yes, yeah, so that makes perfect sense. So we don't allow the simulator on the inside. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? That makes sense. Well, usually they'll they'll be both. Oh. With a with a spacer in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you know they, they make the ones that are like easy clean windows that it's on the inside of the glass. If we didn't want no, that, yeah. that's no. that's probably not appropriate anyways, right? Right. Okay. And the reason that one of the main reasons that that those. They need to be on the outside is because when you get sun, mm -hmm. the reflections, and you don't see the divisions, you see the whole glass, which is not appropriate looking for the stuff. Right. So. Makes sense. Makes sense. And this is a um, definitely a contributing structure. Yeah. So it's good. It's good to do it, do the right things if you can. Yes. We're trying our best. Yeah, for sure. And so then on the foundation issue, um, what is the initials there? What what does that mean? CME, yeah. CME. Concrete masonry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Block. So just block. concrete block, obviously. And we don't want people to see the concrete 
blocks. So we're open to painting them if you want, or we could do a texture on the. I mean, we could do some sort of you know um, stucco as you as you called it on the outside and paint that. Um, but I think ultimately the landscaping is going to cover what is visible anyway. So just want to make sure we are all on the same page there too. Well, I have a question. So if it is um, if it is concrete block, is it just the regular concrete block I'm thinking of, not not what we have along Main Street or anywhere like that on the? So on is it just gray block? Is that yeah, what? Just, it's gray just, block. just just gray block. new gray block. Yeah, yeah. correct. Well, if you but if you. Use just the regular block and strike the uh, mortar flush. Mm -hmm. and then you can come back and just do a, a thin uh, stucco or some sort of oh. applied finish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You would probably like that better anyway. Yeah, I mean, we're not again. We're not married to any one concept, so I'm okay with doing that. I, I think that, that, that would probably be the easiest. Here. Yeah, it gets rid of the, the, yeah. the joint pattern. Okay, sure. Because if you rely on the landscaping, that can change or you. Yeah. Bushes might die. Or That's it. Right. <laughs> we hope not. <laughs> okay, are there any other questions or um, observations? Anything else? If not, are we ready for a motion? Well, before we get there, I did want to clarify one other thing. You know, we built the, um, the temporary fencing on the, from the street, the left side of the house there. Is that the little and small wooden yeah, fence? Just a little small wooden fence. We did that on purpose, just as a temporary structure, of course. And I think we had talked before, our, our ultimate goal was to attach to the back of the addition and kind of go across the yard and up. And now that we have that little piece there, it occurs to me you're never not going to see the fence. <laughs> There's no way for us to hide a wooden fence in the backyard. So I just wanted to revisit that and see what the pulse is from the, the board. If we were to potentially leave that section and just extend it across up the backyard and across. Do we have a picture of it? Or if Well, I saw it a minute ago. It's yeah. just it's just a low picket fence with same exact fence, same specs and everything as the one around Phil's Bend. That's that's what we based yeah. it on. Yeah. I mean it's, it's just not it's not fence. painted yet. Not yet. But yeah. you know would you be painting it? Well we, we hope to paint it white because we felt like it would complement the rest. But if you all think it would be better you know, natural, that's okay too. Um, well, I, I did receive a, a call about asking if it was going to be temporary and if it was yeah. going to be painted or not. Sure, so, sure. Um, you know, being in the backyard, I think our guidelines, does it have the upper and lower thick portions like that? Like the one we're seeing? Yes, mm -hmm. it's exactly like it's that. It's exactly like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. yeah, I actually had my guys go out and look at the one that fills pin and just make it the same. <laughs> Same height, everything. So, so I mean, the the call that I received, the one concern was that it wasn't painted. So I guess the, the well, you know, and I did get a question from a neighbor, but but it was very bizarre. You know, we of course originally had talked about a white fence, and they wanted me to paint it black. And I know that's probably a big no-no with the HPRB guidelines. The neighbors did. And that's what they, they that's what they requested. Now again. <laughs> We, we originally thought that white just made better sense because it kind of just blends in with the, the other structures on the house. But again, I, I, I'm totally okay if you guys have suggestions or if you think of you know, leaving it natural is better or painting it white. That was the original goal was to paint it white. But, but I guess it's twofold. My, 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 I guess I wanted to inform the board that I just don't think there's any way to So you want it fence. to go all the way around the backyard now? Well, we want to we want to create a, a barrier really for our dogs, to be yeah. honest with you. Um, you want a fenced in yard. Exactly, yes. exactly. My personal opinion would be leave it that color because I can't imagine how much work it is to paint fence every week or year. Yeah, I mean, so I did, the, what I understood was I guess that there is a, an existing original fence that is yes. metal there is and so they're right together yes and so i think section. what i understood the concern was that this fence behind that fence that they're not meshing well maybe i, don't, I mean i don't know so I so part. i think that's so what i'm reading between the lines is perhaps thinking that black would make them go together but i don't sure i don't i don't know i'm, I'm guessing and just just to but, but our lines. guidelines sort of <laughs> our guidelines you know favor painted fences in the front yard, and I, I think both are acceptable in a rear yard, if I well, remember. Well, I can read it right here. Okay. Low decorative fence design, 
is appropriate for rear yard fences and should be painted, stained, or left natural. Okay, okay, so we've got options yeah. then. Okay, well, you know, I was going to say, you know, as a side note, we actually were gifted a photo of the house that is ancient, and this oh. photo shows the original fence, and it is a white picket hmm. fence. Really? It is not yeah. a wrought iron fence yet, okay. yeah. which we don't, we're not suggesting to do that, but apparently before they built on the lot beside it, there was a white picket fence dividing all of those lots, and it was the yeah. same fence, huh. or, or I should say similar. It looked a little bit taller, in my yeah. opinion. But um, So anyways, it, it, I guess I was just asking you all, number one, is it okay if it's visible? Um, because I just don't see any way for us to hide it like we had originally intended. Well, it also, they also, we also call for uh, our guidelines suggest that fences are set back from the front of the house, okay. cert and, and this one certainly it is. is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So, so basically, I mean, in the final analysis, it complies with our guidelines. Okay. And in terms of whether you're, it's left wooden or painted or in what color you paint it, that's probably, I mean, it's up to it's you. Up up to to you. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure there's nobody, you know, on a different yeah. page. Or, you you know. have to have a Tom Sawyer party. How about your friends? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and another thing, and, and I probably should ask this while I'm here, but my daughter is begging for a pool. I mean, begging for a pool. What? What? Do you, what is your all's vision on a small in-ground pool? Like, how, how does that comply with the guidelines in, in the historic district? If it's well, we, we have allowed them, and it, again, if it's not visible, which I guess yours would not be. It may be. Um, it may be. So if, if she gets her way where she wants it, is there's, a, there's an existing kind of brick patio that was laid at some point in time, probably 10, 15 years ago, and it's kind of a flat spot. Uh, that would be kind of a conducive spot for us to just take up the patio, dig, and kind of plant around that. But it is visible from the road. And that's why I wanted to ask ahead of time, because if that's a big no, then we could maybe readjust where we were thinking. I don't think we address that in the guidelines, do we? One way or the other. Betsy's scanning over here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on fences. <laughs> oh. Um, do, you, do we have anything on pools? And uh, the Pillions have one, and there used to be one. The Hargroves used to have one on Valley Street. Well, and, the, and the house where Jim Moore lives. It's, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. I think they're all behind Maybe you should walls go look at fences. Right. They're not visible. see how they've done it. I think probably if you want to, if you want to do that, you, it's probably just going to take some thought, but okay. it's certainly possible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, so I'll yeah. come back to you all. I just wanted to let that percolate yeah. a little bit because she's begging. She says, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're long. prohibited. I no. think okay. it's just a matter right. of what kind of screening well, you have to have. Why didn't you that big well and she cut out a porn <laughs> pool there in your yard? You had one. <laughs> that would have been a diving pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a, a little addendum to the fences. Sure. So this, this fence is almost in the front yard and almost in the back yard that you're talking about. Right. But it does say fences of cast iron or wood pickets, balusters or spindles are appropriate for front yards and should be painted mm -hmm. or stained an opaque color. Okay. okay. So there again, I think you've got some leeway there. Okay. But if it were in the true front yard, it would need to be painted. Okay. Well, or, or stained. stained. I mean, or right. stained. And if yeah. you stain it with a good heavy body stain, it's going to last a lot longer than paint. Yeah. So sure. That, sure. Yeah. Be yeah. Make more sense, I would think, to do that. And right. You can still do a white right. stain. Right. You could, yeah. Sure can. So you've got some leeway there too. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And for the uh, just to touch back on the swimming pools uh, topic, swimming pools should be located in the rear or side yards and screened from public view by fencing or landscaping. So. What page are you on? Uh, it's forty-four, item forty-four, uh, so that's sixteen. What you thought then with the screen from the fencing. Mm -hmm. So, so you, before your fence was temporary, and now it's, if it's not going to be, then d do you, are you going to come back for with your final plan on that, or do we need to oh, approve? The fence? Yes. Well, that's that's really why I brought back up. If you all feel comfortable giving me the ability to do that fence, I really think. And, and again, we may not keep that little section on the side that's temporary, but you're still going to see it when even if we come off the back of the addition. It's going to be okay, back it up. You further. see what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're going to see it one way or the other. And, and really, it's most visible from, from McCon Street. That's when you're coming down McCon looking straight at my house, there's almost no way you're going to hide yeah. that fence. Where, where we, even if we back it up 20 feet to the back of the addition or wherever, it's still going to be visible. Um, so I just, I just wanted to float that idea so we know kind of what, what the consensus is. Page three shows the fence here on the bottom mm -hmm. picture. It's not a large fence, and it's not, you know. Oh, that was a problem. Right back here. Oh, next to the. Oh, that way. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Two little sections of the rod. Oh, that's what we're talking about. 
Where is this on? It's on page three, right at the bottom. It's um, fit, you know, right in between the bush and the white. No, it's hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't see is, is, is it's not the wrought clear. iron one starts yes. here and mm -hmm. goes here and then this little oh go oh, I see going yeah. toward the house mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. it's kind of screened by the the other fence that's mm -hmm. there yeah. so yeah. so you're thinking you may back it up further back we could yeah that's that's an option like I said we're again we're not really married to any one concept with it we just wanted the ability to do that mm -hmm. if, if my wife says mm -hmm. you know what Derek I mm -hmm. should come to the meeting I really want mm -hmm. it to stay mm -hmm. like it is right now mm -hmm. and then extend it on we just want the ability to do that if we choose to do so well it sounds like you certainly are in the ballpark for, for, for a number of options for it yeah yeah I think so you know it's, it's low yeah it's has space between them I guess what I'm trying to decide is do we need to approve something for him now or is he going to come back and get an approval it's going to be a permanent fence um, I would I would prefer if you guys are comfortable to go ahead and make a decision on that part because I think the fence will come before the garage. So my next stop here will likely be the garage structure, and that's probably four or five months down the road, if I had to guess. Well, if you're planning to, to model it on the Hills Pens fence, I don't know why I would need a drawing. Right. I mean if it's going to stay similar to what you already have. Mm -hmm. yeah. same, same exact style, everything. It's, it's just I, I wanted to ask about painting or leave it natural, and then, of course, if, if we can leave the temporary part there if we choose to do so, which we truly haven't made our minds up. That's why I just wanted to You just want options. Yep, exactly. I would just ask that you all make a motion if you are going to allow him to keep that there mm -hmm. due to the fact that we've had several calls and complaints from the neighbors. Otherwise, we don't have anything to... Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to take action him. and yeah. specifically approve or disapprove whatever it is we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So what are you going to do? <laughs> um, you know, again, I, I think you're going to see the fence, whether we leave that temporary park or not. You're going to see the fence in that very same sector of the house. It's just either going to be there or Further a back. few feet back. Yeah. But it's going to be the same fence, mm -hmm. and it's going to be the same look. Um, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want, are you going to paint it or are you going to stain it or are you leave it natural? You know, originally we wanted to paint it. Um, we figured we'd just paint it white and it would complement the house. Um, I think that's what, that, that is the American dream, right? A white picket fence. Okay. That's what my wife says you want. <laughs> okay, so do we have a motion on that or any questions on, on that proposal? No questions. Right. Well, I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion that we approve the fence um, in its present location or further back and uh, approve it be, to be painted um, or stained. Okay. I'll second that. Is it painted white? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Could, I would suggest or stained white. Yeah, yes, what I meant. Painted or painted stained, stained white. Your option. Okay. Sure. If that's what you want. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, roll call. Mr. Boyd? Aye. Mrs. Hartshorn? Aye. Mrs. White? Aye. And Mr. Giesler? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. All so right. wait, that's oh. just one thing. Yeah. That's just one part. Yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't do <laughs> the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. Approved. <laughs> okay, now Sorry. back to the, the addition. <laughs> I don't know how we got off track. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. I didn't mean to do that. That's too. all right. So do we have any further questions or comments on the addition? So um, as I understand it, the proposal now is the you're going to stucco the foundation. Yes, we can do that. Okay, and then K guttering with round down spouts and um, wood vinyl clad windows, and they're going to be simulated with the um, the divisions on the outside. Leave you anything out? I would, I would add flush water joints on the block. Okay. Just make it easier for you to stucco. Sure. I would also maybe just add if you want the stucco to be a white color or an earthen color, just to make sure we cover all of our bases. What color do you want the foundation to be? You know, honestly, I, I, I really don't care. Whatever you all think, you're all the experts, so whatever you think looks better, um, I, I'm okay with. I would suggest something that doesn't. It doesn't leap out at you visually. Yeah, like a like, like white. 
I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. just okay. like a firm just tone. Just tone. Just tone. Neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Neutral. Neutral. Right. Sure. Even gray. Okay. So you're saying either leave it just plain stucco gray or maybe an earth tone? Yeah. Yeah, okay. not white. Okay. <laughs> sure. Inconspicuous is the key. That's it. All, All right. right. We ready for a motion? I'll make that motion, but do I have to start from the beginning? Just <laughs> 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 what what Barb said. As long as Nick has it. Okay. <laughs> we have okay. it. Yes. Okay. okay. Is there a second? Second. All right. Roll call. Mr. Boyd. Aye. Mrs. Hartshorn. Aye. Mrs. White. Aye. Mr. Geisler. Aye. Thank All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we have any other matters to take up? Uh, I think just discussing if you guys want to change the time from 5.15 to 5.30. Oh. I just want to talk about that. Well, that's fine with me. Fine with me. Well, it's, it, I, guess it's, I guess it's accommodating it's me that has a hard time getting out of my place in time to get here at 5, 5.15. It's just, it, it, but, but, if I, but I'll make arrangements or somehow. I, uh, it's fine with me. Is, fine. is it okay? I don't know how we ended up at 5.15. Anyway. I think it used to be 5, and we backed up to 5.15 for Mike, coming into uh, Millwood. You're here too late well, it's difficult for me to get out of the building. And yeah. 5.15, you know, I'm... That's when I get to leave the building. That everybody else has left, so I'm now free and can leave. I guess she needs to. All right, so here. we're gonna move to 5:30 then. Do we need a motion okay. on that or anything? Uh, no, I think we're good. Okay. Thank you, everybody, very much. Okay, and that's it. That's all we got. Um, so I guess we'll, so we'll be electing new officers at the next meeting. Yeah, and I guess um, I have the language. It's been sent to CAM, and so we're going to go through the process of changing it. It's just going to leave you in limbo for a titch of time unless somebody swoops in and applies for your position. Okay. <laughs> so far, nobody has. So far, nobody <laughs> has. But. All right, then are we ready for a... Um, well, even if somebody swoops, it, it wouldn't necessarily mean that they would have to be... We could reject they, they them. They would be appointed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, are we ready for a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. Second? I second. Roll call. Mr. Boyd? Aye. Uh, Mrs. Hartshorn? Aye. Mrs. White? Aye. And Mr. Geasley? Aye. All good.